Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Aries. So Aries, a cross watcher, please try to use the energy in this reading in a helpful, positive manner for yourself or leave it where it is. Now, let's hit this. Clear the ground for Aries, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Aries. All right, Aries, energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, here we go, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Please know your planetary placement. It's important. Okay. Oh, nice. You got a five of cups in reverse. Listen, Aries. You're going to get a five of cups. The only way you want it is in reverse. When you get a five of cups in reverse, it means that you're finding peace in your life in any area, okay? First of all, it's about clarity and acceptance. Accepting things the way they are, good, bad, and different, whether you like them or not, the reality of the situation. The glass isn't half full. The glass isn't half empty. It's a glass with some liquid in it, right? Now, the thing about that is once you do that, it opens up the door for you to move forward and be happy, okay? So this is really good. It's about forgiveness, self forgiveness most of all forgiving yourself for not knowing what you didn't know until you knew it and then forgive everybody else for vibrating on whatever frequency they're vibrating on so that you can move forward and be happy love it for you aries by the way aries thank you so much for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us we see you we acknowledge you we're very very grateful for your presence and whether or not anybody else has told you this today delilah tiberius fable and i love you okay here we go so look the idea here is to put some work and effort okay so obviously you're you're busy you got your head down you're concentrating probably on your finances or your financial future your financial foundation maybe you have some kind of skill that you're mastering but you look like you're hard at work here this is probably you know helping you heal from whatever that five of cups was upright to begin with now at the foundation of the situation okay so there's nothing wrong with hard hard work and effort okay the 8th could be of significance until August, or the 5th this month, May. The foundation of the situation, we do have a wheel of fortune in reverse. So the 10th could be of significance until October. This could be like some kind of delay, or maybe you felt like there was some kind of bad luck with the wheel of fortune in reverse. There could have been some kind of lack of control that you felt, or somebody could have had some kind of a setback here. Let's see what's going on crowning you now. So that was at the foundation. So yeah, Sagittarius energy, Archangel Michael. It does have to do with soulmates as well. Okay, here we go. Ooh, wow, you completed this cycle, Aries. This is a beautiful thing. You're done with it, okay? So yeah, obviously, because whatever was making you unhappy, you're now coming to some kind of clarity about it and gaining some happiness. You're busy working, you know, I'm hearing whistle while you work. Dun, 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 dun. So whatever this is, it's making you like happy or feel better anyway. Whatever bad luck you were having at the foundation situation, it's over now. Yes, it is, because now we have the world. You've successfully completed this cycle in your life. You've learned your lessons. You got the morning memo. You got all the assignments. You passed with flying colors. You got your degree, and everybody is off to rule the world. The 21st could be of significance, or perhaps the 3rd. Somebody could be 38 or 35 here, or 48 or 45. Here we go. Now, look what's coming in. Oh, yeah, yeah, drama. It is the five of wands, Leo energy. For conflict, struggle, disputes, people wanting to fight, people wanting to be in competition, people causing all kinds of bullshit, right? It's tension, arguments, disagreements. So you might be fighting with more than one person. It looks like a group. It looks like some kind of gang stalking situation, Aries, but I don't think it makes a difference to you, right? <laughs> now you got five again. So something can be significant about this could be happening before the end of the month. Fives across the board is healing any past trauma, and it's also a connection to your fifth dimension. Let me give me 55 here. Yeah, how are you perceiving this in your mind's eye, in the back of your head, in your pineal glands? How are you looking at this Leo energy for burdens, baggage, bullshit, and drama? How are you doing this? 
You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Sagittarius, or a Leo right now. Somebody that has that highly placed in their chart. Okay, you're looking at this like, okay. So, you know that you, ha, <laughs> Aries. You know that you have a bunch of gang stalking people that are all up in your business. Trying to find out the flavor of your Kool-Aid, right? You know that they want to cause drama. You see them for what they are. You know who these motherfuckers are. <laughs> Aries, look at you. And they might even be making you a little pissed off. So, I'm getting that energy. You're watching them, watching you, watching me. I'm watching you, watching them, watching me. What? So, you're all watching each other, is the point. But you're aware of this. You're aware that there's people around you that want to bring drama to your Aries and start fights. And, and this is what they have nothing to do. So, let these people stand around and fight with themselves. And you can stay back and watch them. I don't give a shit how much it's pissing you off. Do not indulge in this. Do not lower your frequency and your vibration for these people. What's in the actual environment? You know what I'm getting with this face too? Look at this face. Like it could be making you a little pissed off. And it's like, you know what I always tell you? If somebody's watching you, give them something to watch. It's like, nah, 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 nah. now watch this, motherfuckers. That's what. That's what. You want something to watch? Are you pissing me off? Now I'm really going to piss you off. You're watching these people fight. I don't know what they're fighting about. It's going to be different for everybody. What's in the actual environment? The Aries. Aries are gods and goddesses of war. I tell you all the time. First born of the Zodiac. Natural born leaders. Show them the fuck how it's done, Aries. Yes, we do. Okay, so what's in the environment? Show me the environment. Oh, in the environment, you're making a decision. Oh, you're making a decision. Listen, okay. You got the King of Wands. Leo energy. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Somebody's making a decision here. This could be you, okay? The King of Wands is somebody who's very assertive, and it's a leader. Somebody's going to take the lead and make some kind of decision, maybe to cut all these assholes off. I don't know. Judgment, excuse me, is Scorpio energy. Judgment, you know, that's just it. You could be making a decision to resurrect something with somebody. you got a lot of Leo here, so if you don't have Leo in your chart, you have someone around you that does. The 20th could be of significance. The King of Wands is somebody who is very decisive, all right, and bold. They take control of the situation. They bust a move. They're, they're assertive. Somebody's really taking matters into their own hands here and calling judgment. Could be, like I said, to resurrect something with somebody. But I think in this situation with everybody fighting, mm -mm. so what's the best advice? What's the best advice? Again, all right, so you have Scorpio energy now. Show me. The best advice is the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so look, whatever this is, you could be dealing with somebody who's a cold, cruel, calculating, bitter bitch. I tell you this all the time, the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody who's very irrational, cold-hearted, uh, bitter. This person's bitter for whatever reasons. I mean, they're all going to be different. So watch out for this energy. This could be the reason why there's a lot of fighting and conflict. This is somebody that would, you know, manipulate everybody into doing that. So be careful of this energy. I do not feel like this is you, but however... Remember I said, look, it looks like it could be getting you mad. Whatever this is, don't let it turn you into a bitter cold bitch, right? Male or female. Instead, make sure you're taking some kind of assertive action. Maybe, you know, instead of resurrecting to cut these people off. I'm getting to Steve Harvey. What is the um, most likely outcome for Aries? Aries, Aries. Yeah, I'm telling you. The most likely outcome for Aries is, you're going to, you, okay, you're going to come out of a comfort zone and decide to, you know, pick a path and move in a direction towards your success. And then, you know, okay, so the two of wands is when you're making some kind of plan. You could be planning on how to get away from this energy, okay? And then making, judging, right? You made the decision here, I'm going to get away from these assholes. They're pissing me off. Everybody's a nasty son of a bitch here, and I'm done. And before I turn into a bitter bitch that has some kind of baggage because of this, I'm out of here, right? You don't want your energy contaminated. So, you call in judgment, and then, you know, and if this isn't you, then it's someone else. I don't care if you're a male or female here. It's a strong lead here. Now, this is about coming out of the comfort zone and leaving your, you know, and making a move towards your success. Do I go left or right? Do I hang out with these assholes and continue to fight and run the risk of turning into a queen of swords? Or do I go in a different direction? Looks like you're going to go in a different direction towards your success because you're going to be taking control of the situation. At the bottom of the deck, okay, all right, look. At the bottom of the deck, there we have a hangman. Pisces energy. This is about taking a time out to figure things out. To make sure we're making the right decisions. Maybe we're uncertain. Maybe we have a lack of direction. Maybe we feel trapped or confined in this situation. And we need to release and let it go. So we need to take a minute. 
and figure things out, right? Get, gain some kind of enlightenment. The 12th could be of significance. Again, that reduces to three. Three, 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 pure energy of the Ascended Masters. While we're on the subject, Aries. Today, playing in the background for your healing sound bath, we have Gamma Waves. Gamma Waves. We're all doing the Incredible Hulk. It's the fastest traveling because it's light. It's set at 40 hertz, 40 megahertz, except for when the commercial comes on. Hold on a minute. Okay. Um... And it's for high alertness, cognition, memory, focus. If you wanted to use a crystal, it would be amethyst or rose quartz or clear quartz. Uh, yeah, so you can see things clearly now, which is good to gain some kind of enlightenment because you could be in denial. You could be in denial about the way you feel about something, so it's clouding your judgment here, okay? And you're going to have to make some kind of decision. You do have a ten of pentacles here, but there could be fighting over it. But there's going to be some kind of justice brought into your life. There's going to be a shock and surprise. Yep, this is good. Whatever it is, you're going to be very happy here, Aries. You got the sun. So that's all that counts, right? Of course, there's going to be a little turmoil and fighting because people suck. They really do. You got Pisces energy now. Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus. Here we go. Leo. Give me one world of clarifications for Aries. Aries, our gods and goddesses of war. Okay. Woo! What am I telling you? Seven of Swords. See, on top of this Five of Swords... I'm telling you, Seven of Swords is about a betrayal. It's about getting stabbed in the back. It's about scheming. You got shit going on around you that you don't know about. These people, these people that are all fighting amongst themselves, they're holding some kind of secrets on you, Aries. Not on you like they have something on you, like from you is what I should say. There's something going on. I think you have a good idea. Maybe you don't know exactly what the secrets are, what the betrayal is, but you know that these son of a bitches are no good. They betrayed you somehow, some way. All right, so you're aware. You're aware. Here. Now you got the five of cups. Well, there it is. It's up right now. Now you got to let these people go. There's loss. There's sadness. There's regret. There's some kind of disappointment, but they got to go. They've got to go. What else? Give me another roll, please, and thank you. Okay. Now, okay. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. The knight of swords. Somebody's going to take some kind of direct action. Maybe somebody's got something to say. They got to articulate themselves. That's the sort of truth. You know it. And if these people start any shit with you, you're about... <laughs> you're about to cut them up with your mouth. Well, let me tell you something, Aries. If anybody's going to do that, it's you. I feel sorry for anybody that's trying to start drama that you're already aware of that's going to come. If they try to say something to you, I believe that you're going to, like... These people are never going to open their mouth again when you get finished with them. I'm serious. Because look at this. This Knight of Swords, it's about... That's, a, that's not just a sword. That's like a samurai blade. <laughs> that's like something that could cut ten people at once. Here, you got the Four of Wands. Coming out in reverse. Yeah, because guess what? You don't feel like you have any kind of support. You don't feel like you have any kind of family around you or love. Or maybe you feel unwelcome. Maybe you're going through a transition right now. Yeah, to get away from these bitter people, these nasty people. So now we got the Seven of Pentacles. You've got to patiently wait for something that you planted. And you know what? You're focused on your goals here. You really are. See with this eight? You're working. You want success and you want control over your success. Cancer energy. If there's an obstacle in front of you, if there's a mountain, Aries, you're going to get over it. I don't care if you go around it, if you go over it, but however you got to do it. And if you can't do that, Aries, you're ready to blow a hole right through it. You really are. Now, let's get you some kippers. Here we go. Kipper for Aries. Please and thank you. Whoa, Aries. All right. So somebody might be in some kind of poverty right now. Somebody could be 37 years old or 73. The 10th could be of significance. It could be emotional, mental, spiritual. You know, with that four ones in reverse, you could just feel like, yeah, like the lack of family and love and support or community around you. Maybe, you know, you're a lone wolf here. There's a main male, number one. This guy's good looking, okay? This guy might have a little facial hair. Look at his face, right? Good looking guy. Maybe in about his 40s or something, late 30s, 40s, something like that. Oh, it's going to be a big change. A huge change. This could be in anything, okay? If you're in poverty now, you're coming out of it. Some of you are going to be changing vehicles because the car you drive is a piece of shit and it gives you nothing but anxiety. I can't even understand. You're freaking out every time it runs. Like, you're like, I can't believe this car. I hear somebody's getting a Dodge. Oh, so somebody's getting a Dodge Ram, a Charger, or a Challenger. Yeah, baby. Somebody's packing up their shit and they're moving. Let me tell you a little story about a man named Jin. Born a mountaineer, barely kept his family fed. And up came... Bubbling crude of oil. Somebody's about to hit. Somebody's about to hit something here. You're about to change jobs, lifestyles, mindsets, diets. Yeah. Oh, here comes the love of lovers. A decision's going to be made about a soulmate union. 
So I'm going to give you 51 here. The six. This could be happening in June, July. This can happen over the summer. Okay. And last but not least, there's a mature woman. Okay. So look, what I tell you all the time. I don't care how old you are. All right? So I'm going to be dating somebody younger here. There's a mature woman. It's six. June. June, July, May, June, July. Got sixes across the board. That's your heart chakra opening up. Cracking open, I'm hearing. Give me one more. One more kipper. Okay. Yeah, 33. Or six again. Sixes are significant. Somebody's concerned. Somebody's concerned about coming in to make an offer. Here we go. Now, somebody holds somebody in high honor. Somebody could be concerned about somebody that's ill. Uh, there's a great fortune coming in. Somebody's going to be privileged in a minute. I don't know how it's going to be different for everybody, but boy, are you going to feel blessed. Let's get you some hidden truths, Aries. Hold on. Here we go. Aries. Aries. Hidden truths for Aries. By the way, Aries. We're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every friggin' form possible to infinity and beyond. I look for you everywhere. Yeah, this person certainly does. Somebody's looking for you, Aries. The candle just blew out. Or maybe it did. I don't remember when it blew out. I wish things could be different. I wasn't paying attention. So you probably know better than me. You speak to me through music. So somebody's listening to the radio, feeling all melancholy and five of cups-ish about some kind of regret that they have. Everybody they see that reminds them of you when they're listening to this music. This person's losing their mind. That's what they're doing. Somebody hid who they really were. So many things remind me of you. What am I telling you? This is how you remind me. Okay, so here. Here's your romance angels for Aries. Aries, 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 Aries. Aries. Just stay patient, Aries. Whatever you're working on is going to come to fruition. You're about to be very successful. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Especially if you've been putting work and effort into something for a while now. Jupiter was, you know, in your planet of expansion here. It was expanding in your, in your second planet of money here. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. That's right. Let the past go. Let the who gives a shit? It's over. It's over, right? Take your lessons and your blessings and move forward. Finances and career. A lot of you are just working on that right now. Could be affecting your love life because you might be so dedicated and working hard here that you're not paying attention. Look at this. I'm going to show you. Your head is down. You're so busy working on yourself, your life, your finances, your financial future, just everything. You're not paying attention. You got to lift your head up once in a while and, you know, smell the roses. You got a past life relationship coming in. You need to make the effort. See what I'm saying? Yes. Now, let's get you some letters. We love you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Here we go. All right. We have. Here we go. We got a lot of them today. Whew. All right. <coughs> Something about. I'm hearing. Okay. I'm hearing Jackery. Jackery. Now, I just happen to know what that is. That's one of those. Um, it's one of those uh, solar-generated power things. Like if you were doing the um, the camping life, you put the jackery out there. It's a, a solar-powered energy source. <laughs> oh, maybe some of you need to get out into the sun. Yeah, thank you, spirit and ancestors. All right, here we go. We Believe it or not, okay, we have a blank. I love blanks because you can make them anything you want. You have two R's, J-C-B-L. Then you have the blank. Then you have two A's, two I's, O-Y-U. Oi! All right, guys. We love you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.